good day and uh about to welcome everyone to the second episode of my um new podcast that i'm starting or trying to start um the podcast is called the melancholy guy welcome to the show um i'm gonna go into more explanation of what this podcast is going to be about and what i'm trying to accomplish um using this platform so the melancholy guy um daring to be open daring to be black open and free the ventures of a divorced open polyamorous african male so that's my uh tumblr blog uh it can be found at melancholyguy.tumblr.com and you know go over there and read it if you want to or not it's basically about my adventures starting back in 2010 or 7 uh going to that more about the the dates um of how i began to uh first accept who i am and then i was married at the time i opened up my marriage so actually yeah about 2010 um went through the process of opening up my marriage i was married then and um we started to live a an open ethically non-monogamous lifestyle um, but first, I want to talk about the, the format of the show a little bit and correct some information about yesterday or the, not yesterday, but from the first podcast that I put out. Um, the Like I said, the, the blog, blog can be found at uh, melancholy.tumblr.com. Um, and it's the subtitle is Daring to be Black, Open and Free, The Adventures of a Divorced, Open, Polyamorous, African Male. Now, use the term polyamorous um, loosely because what I consider my preferred relationship style to be um, polyamorous, I'm really just ethically non-monogamous, um, but I know I can live whatever I, whatever I choose. My relationships, they always must be open, um, honest, and ethical, and we must... Uh, be able to be free to be ourselves uh, that's for some that's really <laughs> that's really hard to understand but for me it's just how i'm built and what works for me so the show is basically right now i'm doing a i'm just doing a test really sh- a, a real test show right now so it's only gonna be about 15 minutes when i do it won't be every day uh, it'll be when i have something to talk about but i think it's gonna be at least three times a week if not more like I said right now, like I said in the previous episode, I'm between jobs, so I have time to really do this, but that won't be long. Um, I'm working on a T, so <coughs> I have projects that I work on, and I'm sure I'll be busy hopefully soon. So uh, I also wanted to talk about last, yesterday, I um, stated where the podcast is hosted. It's actually hosted on Spreaker.com, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. Um, it's hosted there. I think I cross-posted onto SoundCloud, and then I actually post the show also uh, on the blog. So it'll be in those three spots if you're looking for it. Um, I don't think I will do a live broadcast anytime soon but i probably will test the features of that because i said my goal is to build a, um, a podcast studio next year and offer that out to other people who have the podcast because i would like to produce podcasts uh in the future the very near future <coughs> excuse me so the show is basically 15 minutes long um like i said i'm just doing this right now for free i'm not paying i'm just testing out speaker and i'm testing out my skills and my ability to be consistent with this um and also my ability to actually generate content and put some professional content out there so i'm only doing like 15 minute shows of course that may change as i build out my studio and uh, get more confident in the platform and have more money so <laughs> that's the plan for that. Uh, I also want to talk about the the format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into three five minute formats to get break it bring me to fifteen minutes uh, or thereabouts. 
So I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna talk about um, just the the platform, um, the Tumblr platform. Um, you know what I'm doing with the platform, what I'm doing with my Tumblr, what I'm working on at the time, and stuff like that. Then the second one, the second session, the session five minute session, which we're in now. I just want to talk about me. Um, since this is my podcast and a platform for me, I just want to talk about me and what, what I'm going through at any given time because I think it's it's cathartic for me, maybe interesting for you, maybe not. I don't really think this is going to get a get a broad listening to or a broad audience, but it could help someone. Um, so basically, like I said, I am uh, living an ethically non-monogamous life. Uh, I'm divorced. I've been divorced since 2015, and I've been in various states of being in and out of relationships uh, since that time, before that time, and I <laughs> probably am now. Uh, because I think if you if you live a truly um, polyamorous lifestyle, contrary to what uh, most people think, it's not about uh, sexual relationships, romantic relationships. It's about relationships. It's about having relationships and allow them to exist and be what they are um, supposed to be and meant to be in your life and to the, the people's lives um, um, that you're having the relationships with. So at any given point, since the time that I was married, I was in various relationships at different stages some romantic, some platonic, some a uh, mixture of that. Um, my s- goal is state is to always be open to whatever happens in a relationship. I've been guilty of not doing that and always allowing that to happen. Very guilty, and I've um. I think I've hurt some people in the in the in the past, and I've been hurt also by myself and by some other people um, with agendas. I think it's we always say, or I always say that I like to go into relationships without expectations. Um, that's it takes work to get to that point. It's like it takes work. It took work for me to get to this point to be able to, you know, live a life where I have other relationships and then. The women that I have relationships with have other relationships, and then I'm not always a priority. Our relationship is not always a priority. It's important to be able to be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Not be the center of of someone's world, and not allow someone else to be. Um, the center of your world that again may seem foreign to a lot of people but it allows for um, some growth and for me that's most important that I uh, be allowed to grow and then the people in my life who I have significant relationships whatever that means be allowed to grow also um, so right now I'm single, hashtag AF, single as fuck. Um, and I f- didn't choose to be that single right now, but that's probably what's best for me right now because I guess I'm going through a change, a transition. I've put myself through a lot of drama and a lot of self-induced um conflict and damage just based on I'm not if you listen to the previous episode I talked about being resistant to change. Uh I went through a lot of um drama and pain going f- through my um separation and divorce cuz I didn't want to didn't want the relationship to end. The relationship had changed to a point that I was no more um, stay uh, sustainable. 
she needed to go be who she wanted to be and I needed to become who I am now and I wasn't going to be able to do that in that relationship and she wasn't going to be happy with me now like when she met me back in 2006 7 I was a completely different person um I was still trying to live the life that I thought was correct for me um which I used to be a christian i'm an ex-christian now um i'm probably spiritually agnostic i do believe in you know general principles of love and some metaphysics um mindfulness things like that mostly eastern philosophies and i'll go into more of that later um but the big three um not so much i'll study that out i'll probably talk about that actually um if i go into (laughs) If you go, if you ever go back to the first of my blog, that's might be the first thing that you read. The first thing that I actually posted. Well, actually, I cleaned this blog up seven years ago. I posted a couple pictures, and the first post was actually about it was a poem that I actually posted. Um, the title "We Have All We Need," and it was actually on my YouTube channel <laughs> that I posted a little video about that with slides and everything, the background, musical background about not needing Christianity. Um, and we have all we need, meaning that we have love. So we have love, we have enough for us. I think I'm down on like three minutes left. So um, I probably should read that poem. But I actually haven't read it. I see it's broken out pretty good. I think it was a pretty good poem. It's like I say, it's on my YouTube page. Um, maybe I'll post it, and maybe I ne- on the next show when I read it, I will read that. Cause I think I will read some of the posts and talk about them. But interestingly, that ex- came back to that post. That's the very first post, and it actually um, <coughs> was about me leaving Christianity. And actually, at first, when I went through leaving Christianity, I was definitely a an ex an atheist. Actually, I was an atheist. I was you know, on the YouTube making videos and in the groups. There's a lot of people who are ex Christians that are turning to atheists and they become anti theists. They fight theism and Christianity with videos and answer videos and I was into that for a while. I made some videos, never got into the whole <coughs> anti-theism and fighting theists. I went through all of that, but eventually I found that to be a religion too. I, was in all, I read all the books, Richard Dawkins, Christopher Hitchison, H- H- I forgot the name now, Sam. Um, uh, anyway. <laughs> A lot of books, a lot of reading to get out of uh, Christianity. But then, once you leave Christianity, you're empty. So, got about a little less than two minutes, minute, one minute, 18 seconds left. So, I just want to say that um, I'm going to post this t- uh, today. You know, hopefully, some people listen to it, some people won't. Um, so, I just want to leave you with uh, one thing. Um, always remember uh, to love and respect yourself first. And... And if you do that, it will flow easily to the people in your life. Um, Peace. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Love you.